K1 here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just wanted to show off my PJs that I got for Christmas that I never got to wear. And y'all made me put on some her because it came with a headband. Because y'all know this was not happening all together. Oh, so these were a gift for Christmas. And I want to unbox with you some of my Christmas gifts. So welcome 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 come on in all new people come on in come on in and returning people you know the deal i'm k and you're watching it's just k1 here on youtube please comment like and subscribe below and let's get started let's go y'all going on what's going on what's going on Y'all, the Midwest right now, Chi-Town, Northwestern Indiana, a lot of the Midwest. Uh, Northwest Indiana and the Chi is getting hit by this snowstorm. We start off with rain and snow. We had three rounds. Today is, the, tonight will be the third round of snow. Also, really cold temperatures are coming. Please be careful out here on the road, y'all. Be careful, put everything, gotta get in the house, get it in there. Check on seniors, check on pets, check on each other. So anyway, back to the vlog. Y'all, I got some things for Christmas that I didn't wear on Christmas or around Christmas. And this was one of the things. This PJs are courtesy of Walmart. They are nice and cozy, y'all. It's a red and white polka dot. I don't know if I'm, doing, I'm being the right kind of model. I'm being the right model. These pants do have pockets. This came in like a little flat pack put together I will insert here uh, nice and cozy a little baggy it's okay at the bottom it is like uh, tapered um, this is a large a ladies large that means 12 to 14 large I like it because it's cozy and toasty and I at the time I didn't know it had a headband inside the pack so originally I was not great putting no damn hair on for y'all because <laughs> it's nighttime <laughs> but um when I seen the headband, I was like, oh, let me go find some her. <laughs> so this little number worked fine and it's okay. So anyway, y'all, let's get to it. Anyway, y'all, I've been looking for some pots for a long time because the pots I had were from Walmart from um, Pioneer Woman. And I started out like everybody else with some of the famous tea falls. I had two sets of tea fall. I had a cream set that was a gift and then I had another color I think it was red and then I got the pioneer woman now the pioneer woman pots held up really good it was a lot of non-stick pots it was a great big pot then it went down in size um, but over time and years it wears out and then recently I was finding out about pots and what they're made of um, how some non-stick pots are not the best for you and how some are and what are the best pots for you so anyway the largest, what made me really move forward with it fast was the largest pot I had that I normally cook chili. You've seen this probably for that red pot. Chili, spaghetti, anything that's in a large capacity. That pot in the inside started turning. And what I mean is the silicone or whatever it was glossed with in the inside, it started turning, turning where that was coming off and under that was black. So you would get, when you would look at the pot, you would see speckles of like, the silicone parts and black and the other and I just knew it was time for the pot to be over with to retire so I said let me search high and low I'm not going to pay four hundred dollars for a set of pots karate karate whatever his name of karate karate on Amazon more power to you if you could pay that uh, so I had to shop around and in the stores now like Walmart TJ Maxx Burlington TJ Maxx 
when I say TJ Maxx, y'all, <laughs> and all the rest of them. The thing is, TJ Maxx and Burlington and Ross, you're not always able to find a whole set. You can find pots, like a pot, a skillet. But they have some good ones, y'all. Burlington, too. But I never see a set. Because I have a lot of Mitch Mac things, and I picked them up from TJ Maxx, Ross, and Burlington. Walmart and Target seem to have almost the same similar type brands and everything. I mean, from the celebrity the celebrity design pots. I even seen Paris Hilton has a line of pots now. Um, Martha Stewart, all these people. So when I would go in the store, I, I kept seeing the same thing. So I went to Amazon. I researched and researched. They even have some pots now that you can order them, and they come. I'm gonna use this for an example. They come like this, and you buy the. It's a clip you clip on for the handle. I would never recommend that for myself because I would be too afraid. The damn thing would fall apart. You have food in it, grease, whatever. Yeah, disaster. So that that's a new one that's out. And you know, also one that you've seen probably frequently on YouTube and TikTok and everywhere are those karate, karate, karate pots. I think it's C O R A T E or C A R O T E. Those are like three hundred plus dollars. I'm not spending that. I mean, I cook, but I don't cook like that. It's not necessary. So I just want some decent pots. I want them to be chemically free. Of health hazards so it's something called I think PFSA I will insert here what it means what it means is that the material the pot is made out of especially on the inside and you cook it in it those particles won't hurt you now let me break it down for it forever be broke y'all we all know back in the day we used cast iron skillets, we used burn up, I call it aluminum pan, aluminum pots, burn up pots. We used all kind of pots and everybody in the world has used pots that weren't healthy for them. So everybody on this earth that has eaten out of a pot or a skillet in their life does probably have something, you know, because that's how we were brought up and that's what we used and that's what we ate out of. So I'm not trying to say I'm good, Miss Goody Two Shoes, but I would like to purchase a pot set that will help me going forward and with my health even though probably the last what 57 years <laughs> it was jacked up <laughs> so anyway y'all to each his own one time green life soft grip healthy ceramic non-stick 16 piece <laughs> kitchen cookware pots and frying pan set this pot set is pfas free it wear set so you can use because remember really with the non-stick pots you're supposed to be using the either this or the silicone wear I tend to start off using these and then it goes downhill and probably same thing happens to you all I start off using the soft everything and being gentle and nice and next thing you know we back on the scraping it has a steamer pot So I can sit this inside of another pot and steam things like fish, vegetables. Get on it, y'all. Get into, get into. Okay, so the first pot that I found in the box, so I'm just pulling stuff out. Okay, it's my big pot. Remember, this is a pot, this is a pot similar to what I was just telling you about that led me to getting a pot set. So this is the this will be the five quart. See. I picked the color navy blue. This comes in a large variety of colors. I mean, even purple. So let's find the top for this, okay? That's because, like I said, I do have some pots that I like. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. The thing is to keep the inside looking like this, y'all. <laughs> pot with the top on it. This is the pot like I would make spaghetti stew roll out sometimes i put a roll in here but i have a, a crock pot but like spaghetti chili tacos chocolate the green life the green life okay, so, uh, does that pot have a top because uh we opening and opening there's another skillet and my color is is one of my yeah, uh, christmas navies yes, continuing on from the pot one of my Christmas gifts. I wanted a new bar cart um, to put my liquor and different things in, the Keurig and all that. And um, I wanted everything to be enclosed. Now, not display. You know, you go back and forth. Sometimes you want to display, sometimes you want to close. My first bar cart, 
I got it from Amazon. I put it together myself. Um, everything was displayed, but I'm kind of tired of that. I want everything in clothes for now. Um, also, my Keurig is kind of on its last leg. I mean, there's times that the coffee part does not work. The frother works sometimes. So I think it's, you know, I'm going to donate it to the um, Salvation Army up there. But it's not. It works, but it ain't the best. So, you know, used. <laughs> so I don't want to toss it. So I'm just going to donate it. And then as far as the coffee cups and stuff, I use almost the same coffee cups every day, every week. I do drink coffee every day. Um, I have my favorite cups, my big cup cups, the spider cup and stuff like that. So I had to consolidate down a lot too of smaller cups I had that were cute, but I wasn't using. So I would rather donate them. I'm telling you all, get rid of all this excess crap. Donate it, give it to somebody or whatever. So anyway, we're going to get into that. So let's go. together I'm not taking I'm not breaking it all the way down so there it is all the glass is off it has these little suction cups to help with the glass will lay the glass in there so it wasn't just like glass laying in the grooves I did appreciate that and I put this together y'all so we got to move this out the way uh probably vacuum over here nothing was nothing ever else has been in this area and um then move the new one in all right, now it's just K1, y'all. Rock with me.
getting hot here, y'all. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> working out. Working it on out, y'all. Moving around. Moving the shaker. It's getting hot. <laughs> it feel weird with nothing in this space. to put it back where the other cart was at. So I'm looking at the carpet where the indention in the carpet was. So I'm trying to line it up. This is called the Boyel, B-O-Y-E-L, Living Storage Cabinet. And it's by Boyel Living. That's a brand, I presume, with Amazon. It comes in the colors of navy blue, or they just call it blue. It comes in blue, it comes in black, it comes in coffee, which looks like a, not a chocolate brown, but a little shade up like a cafe cappuccino brown. And it comes in hunter green and red and white. It comes in white and a teal color. Okay. I have the blue. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. Y'all gonna get me on this floor. I ain't gonna be able to get up. Okay. So now you can see it. A little bit better it looks like black probably on camera but it is a navy blue it has the gold legs now for you DIYers you could paint that silver you could paint that black you could change it up if you want to and this is the door this is the top now you can probably see the navy blue this is smaller than the original bar cart that was over here it also has gold handles on it. You could put these either way. You don't have to put these going across. You could turn them. It's up to you how you want to put them on here. We wanted to make it look just like how it looks online. You know, like I said, there's the gold legs. Again, that's the cord that was hooked to my curate. And that's the top again. So let me back up so you can see. I was just trying to get on the floor because my desk is over here. And it's hard to show you. So there, now you can see it a little bit better. So, like I said, this is smaller than the original cart that was over here. It's smaller. It's shorter, for one thing. But it has more storage. And, like I said, I'm kind of eliminating a lot of stuff with it. So, let's take a look and open it up. I like it. I love this, like, whatever this octagonal shape is. So, right now, there is some... I put a bottle... We put a bottle of liquor in here to see if it would fit. It has a shelf. And the shelves, you can move. You can put them up higher or lower I just wanted the shelf to be where I could put my liquor in here side so this is the inside I put my phone flashlight on so this is the top shelf going across there and that's the bottom shelf and like I said we set it up so that we would know that a tall bottle of liquor champagne or whatever could fit in there because that was my main concern about the liquor being in here more than the coffee cups and the wine glasses so now you can actually see the blue too. So like I said, you can move the shelving around high, low, if you want it lower on the top, higher on the bottom. But my focus was the bottom mainly over the top. Um, what's going to probably go on this higher uh, shelf are coffee cups and more little small bottles or things that I have. Okay. Yeah, I can see the navy blue real good now. Please hold. Hey, 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 y'all. I am back. What I'm doing now is inside the cabinet, I like this material and I want to protect it and I want it to stay nice. So almost like how I had the cutting board under the Keurig, I wanted to put some of the liner that you put like in your cabinets. Um, you know, we put this inside the cabinets. Like when you first move in, I always tell the girlies, don't just sit your dishes and things in the cabinets, even though you wipe them out with whatever put a liner in it and then sit your stuff on it glasses dishes whatever pots everything I use this stuff under my bathroom cabinets as well I just cut the shape and put it in there and then I put the wire mesh basket or whatever on top of it I don't just put um, 
I don't just lay things on top of that. I think I have it in my towel, my linen closet, the bathroom cabinet under the bottom. I also have it in my kitchen cabinet um, as well. So what I'm doing here is inside of this cabinet, I'm going to put this liner on both of the shelves and then put everything in here. Uh, on top, I'm going to have that probably in the beginning that... Um, that cut cutter board, the cuttery board or whatever, before I decide what I'm gonna get to actually sit the Keurig on. Now, like I said, this is a little bit smaller, so we're gonna see how much room the Keurig takes up and that vase and the coffee, uh, the, the, the K-cup dispenser that I have. Uh, I have the flat one that you pull the tray out. This is not as big as the other cart, so we're gonna see how that works out. Um, I even, had in my mind that if everything cannot fit on here on the top I was going to get some type of table to put the vase on over here uh, maybe higher up than what this is I just like this because it's compact and if this I wish this came taller but it's not um, but every every if everything doesn't work out being on top of here I don't want it to look junky or raunchy we will leave the vase off in the tray until I get something else to sit it on so that's why I left space over here in the corner but for now like I said we're going to cut this I'm gonna make one for both uh, shelves and then put it in and then set the stuff on it and it's just rubber you all know about this stuff it comes in a pack it comes in a roll matter of fact here's the roll you can get it from Walmart Target wherever um, it's just a liner it's the liner and I, like I told you, I use this everywhere for everything. I got this one from Old Time Pottery, but they have them everywhere. You can get a big giant roll. You don't have to get the little bitty ones. They come in colors. This is a black. I've used gray before. I've used tan. I've used chocolate brown. So we're going to cut this, and then I'm going to measure this for the second shelf, and then put that in there also. But for right now, I'm just going to cut this. I've cut it across already. So now I'm going to, I mean, I've cut it uh on the on the side so now I'm going to cut it across the top because it's too long it doesn't have to be perfect because who in the hell is going to see it but you <laughs> whatever as long as it's a liner to protect what you're putting in there so you know when that this is not for fashion this is just for protection of the items that you're putting in there like glasses, bottle, because you're going to put bottles in here and stuff like that. So it's, it doesn't have to be super straight and all perfect. Let me come from this way. But, yeah, I didn't want to just lay stuff in here on it. So we'll see. I mean, we, we may have to make some adjustments as far as that vase and that coffee, the K-cup tray, because... You know space issues but we work it out and we'll get something else we'll find i if i have to get another little small table to go in that corner i will it's not a big deal but this was part uh, another part to my uh christmas uh what i treated myself for christmas was this cart so a matter of fact i got the cart with health rewards for my job um you could get health rewards if you do like some of the yearly things that people should do like <laughs> some of the yearly things that you should do ladies and gentlemen uh ladies mammograms uh you get a yearly mammogram or yearly physical you get points and points can generate into a gift card so i always turn mine into what the big a amazon so um that's how i got my tv i got my tv upstairs through a tenure uh gift but i i turned the points into money to get this from get an Amazon gift card for my job through health rewards so mammograms physicals uh, make sure you get the BMI and all that stuff they don't have to be perfect but you get the exam um, they also have listed on the immunizations I didn't need any at the time because I had the COVID booster and all that stuff uh, other things they have things like things about mental health you answer questions over a consecutive couple of months and you get points and it converts to money so you know you know get get hooked up with your health department and your HR department and your health and wellness and I'm sure all jobs have some type of reward or something I mean maybe it's not a gift card to Amazon but maybe it's a gift card to somewhere or sometimes you could convert the points to money on your HSA or your FSA so check it out look it up it's the beginning of the year check it out all right, y'all, we, we are back, 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 we are back. I should have been doing the snake on the floor. I probably would have fell on the floor. But y'all, we get ready to load up the bottom cart, the bottom part of the cart. I have the liner in here, as you see. Um, all I did was cut 
Uh, I found out that the second liner was a little bit shorter width wise than the first liner. So I put the most, the thickest one down here. And we're gonna put everything in here. We're gonna start loading it up. I'm putting the real tall things down here. And we're gonna have to divide them up on sides. You can't put everything on one side. So we reload those up. Things like this, because this is a huge bottle, I'm still gonna set on the side. Originally that was set on the side. And you know my famous of all time, Stella Rosa. This is a huge bottle too. This was sitting on the side. So those two will remain out. But the rest of them, I'm gonna start to load up. So I hope you can see now I have the light on the camera and everything. Uh, it's dark blue, so you'll just see the liquor going in. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I gotta get down here on the flow. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna sit the liquor down here first so you can see me load it up. I don't think this is straight across. Um, hold on a minute, y'all. Because I'm looking at it like it's on an angle, kind of. Because it's going to be harder to move once stuff get in here. <laughs> you already know that. Okay. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to load up the bottom. And I'm going to separate them and spread them out. Uh-oh, something fell over. And um, spread them out, like I said, because this is a different type of cabinet. Uh, you have to place them different types of ways. It's different size bottles. Okay. So that what was in here first. And I want to give a shout out. This is an excellent wine, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. This is an excellent wine. Um, this is called Brico Riella. And where I first first tasted this at is work. They had it for a happy hour. And if y'all could get that, I don't know, but check it out. It's a, a white wine and it's sweet. I like sweet wines. And I didn't know other than What's the liquor store that everybody always goes to? I, I just thought it was only at that liquor store. But I found it in my little neighborhood liquor store. So, okay. But it's good. It's sweet. I like sweet white. So, let's lo let's start loading up. Okay. So, most of the things that aren't open, I'm going to put towards the back. Because, you know, things that I use all the time, like the Malibu and all that, that's going to stay towards the front. So, the Briella is not open. It will go back here. Okay. The cheap Andre that I was supposed to open for New Year's. <laughs> it will go back here. <laughs> and I'm just putting it, playing around with it in here now, y'all. It's not going to be the final, the way it's set up. It's just me putting the stuff in here. Because I'm just trying to see what I got and how it should be placed in here. Because this is all brand new. So we're trying to figure it out. Just trying to figure it out. These cabinets don't open any further back. Also up here at the top, you know how when you open and close cabinets and they have those little furry things here? Uh, the person that helped me put this together, Nate, said that what I could do is go to Home Depot Menards and you st there's stickers on the back. I could put it here. These self-close and they don't slam. So that's one good thing. But I still prefer to have those on there. He said I could put them on the outside or the inside. So I haven't got that yet. So let's load up. Okay, so what we got here? <laughs> we got some martini and rossi extra dry vermouth that was for one of the recipes child. i used it since so that's like something that could go to the back okay everything that i haven't used that i use every now and then will go to the back and everything that i use frequently will stay in the front uh peppermint snaps <laughs> that's like something that could go in the back okay the triple sec, I use that frequently. And what is this? The peach snaps. I use that sometimes. You all, peach snaps is good if you make peach snaps and make a mimosa. So get the orange juice, the champagne, or the sparkling water, and a, put a little peach snaps in there. Excellent. So when I know, uh, my sister-in-law, Lozella, made peach peach snap mimosas one time up for a girls' night. It, they, they were excellent. Okay, so this is the triple sec. And then you got here the vodka, the Svetka vodka, and the salsa tequila, silver. So I'll put those together because I use those frequently, both of those. Okay. And then you got a bottle of Stella Rosa. Once again, y'all, Stella Rosa Peach. <laughs> Favorite brand. <laughs> that could go towards the back. Okay. And then, so for, like I said, we got the triple sec. I use that a lot. Uh, we got the Malibu. 
We got the Bailey's. Bailey's is very good for cocoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh shit, y'all. <laughs> what, you getting jealous, Malibu? <laughs> okay. And then, you know, I talked about this last week, you all. The Espelon uh, Puro Agave Tequila Blanco. This is good, y'all. And this is smoke, like a smoky flavor. Okay? So, I'm going to put this right here. And anyway, when you come in here, I mean, you're going to grab and move stuff around anyway. You know, it's going to be neat in the beginning, and then eventually it ain't going to be neat. <laughs> it's just going to be in here. So, next, we have the small bottles. Now, I was reserving this top for coffee cups and stuff like that. Um, I was going to do away with the wine glasses and probably put them on top or in here or um, put them somewhere in the kitchen. Because before the wine glass was hanging on that thing and it was basically out and it is a glass So I know it's getting dusty dust collects because of carpet and everything else in the air So either I can move some of these over and put my little shorty Mac <laughs> liquor things over there Or put the shorty Mac stuff in the front here because it's still room still have room So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move up to the top shelf and put the things I want in here and then try to decide back and forth what should go down here what should go up there or if i should add things to that top so like i said the liners in here it's not neat y'all it ain't perfect it's just in here that's the purpose i wanted i don't care that it's not neat cut across or whatever and the top one is in here so please hold we'll be right back hey y'all i am back it's just k1 here y'all you may hear something outside i think they're plowing because we got some snow and ice over this last couple of days so you may hear the trucks or something along the street going down the street um pushing ice pushing snow salting whatever <laughs> that's what you hear in the background i'm sorry so we are up to the new keurig this is what i got also for christmas it's the new keurig this is a slimmer line one this is a this one does not have the frother on it i bought a frother that i showed you in an unboxing from amazon a while ago i'm not gonna unbox it today i'm just gonna take it out <laughs> but anyway uh this is a keurig i got for myself for christmas i i waited to black friday i searched high and low on all the online the amazons and all that stuff but where did i find it at i found it at Amazon. So I waited for it to go on sale, back and forth, checking Target, Walmart, everybody, everywhere. And I think I got a good deal for $99. But right now, I think at Walmart, it is $99 now. But around the time of Black Friday, because you got to remember, Black Friday kind of started at the beginning of November. I found it more closer to Christmas. So like maybe December 22nd. It finally went down some and it gave me some percentage off. So that's when I got it. I kept checking. I, I had it in my cart, but I was waiting because I knew it was going to drop down a little bit more. So this is a different model. Like I said, mine was the one with the frother on the side. This is more of a slim line. It's called K-Slim. Like K-Slim. <laughs> K-Slim, yeah. So it's just called the Keurig K-Slim. It does everything else the other one does. It just doesn't have um, the, the uh, frother on the side. I like that cup though. In that cup. They got Keurig cups, y'all. Don't try don't tell me that y'all got Keurig cups. So anyway, um, multi-stream technology, space saving, three cup sizes, multiple cup reserver, fast and fast and fresh brewed. Now it has the same size cups the other one has. Uh, no, this one has eight, ten, and twelve. The other one has a six, and the other one also has a thing where you can push for a latte and cappuccino. Because remember the frother was built in, so that was the purpose of that. And also you could do. I think with the cappuccino you could do hot or cold on the other one but that's only because it was an extension built in and i got that one at the request of what is her name kristen alexis kristen alexis she's in indiana um she's a youtuber that i follow uh and she had the silver one and when i searched high low for this i couldn't find it, so i got the black one so and this was around during the pandemic too y'all <laughs> so anyway we're gonna open this up now you see it's almost the size of the cabinet. <laughs> it's called the K-Slim. Got this at Amazon. I will link it below. But you all have seen these everywhere. There's all different sizes of... Uh... I wonder if they give me some coffee down here. Oh no, it just says Brewing America's Leading Coffee Brands. It should have said a set of sampler. <laughs> nope. It's like, girl, you better get a bite here with that. 
so we're gonna open this. Okay. I'm trying to get it open, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I could have put this on the TikTok, but I ain't got to try. Y'all know I can't I can't be doing more I can't be doing too many things. <laughs> what I'm what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, take it out for the vlog, put it back in and then open it for TikTok and put it. Y'all know some people be doing that. But what they do, they have their camera on the side. And their camera uh, records at the same time. That's saying something, y'all. Please hold. All right, all right. We are back, y'all. Child, please. <laughs> I'm going to hook this sucker up. <laughs> We're going to record at the same time, like Chris Rock say. Same time, same time. Chris Tucker, same time, same time. Okay. <laughs> Pow pow, <laughs> Tasha Mac. Pow pow. So we gonna sit this over here. So uh, I'm uh, y'all with this this thing outside. Oh my God! Please no and no and no. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit this on the side. But what people do is y'all they take their camera and there's a thing you can buy a piece just like the piece that goes on top of uh, the big tripod. I had it out too. I don't know where it's at, but I had it out. It's this. Y'all seen this. One of these. See that? You can sit that. There's a way this can fit on top of your camera in the little slot the light goes in. And you can put your phone in it, and then you can record at the... I seen this yesterday on, on YouTube. You can record your TikToks at the same time you're recording your vlog, so you don't have to redo them. In the past, I think I was redoing them, or I did them first for the TikTok, and then I came back and did it for the vlog. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So we are going to do this ghetto style. <laughs> We're going to put this right on over here. <laughs> Child, you got to make it do what it do. So, it's got better color, too. Let's see here. Uh, y'all. Okay. Yeah, let's get, let's get, a little, let's get a little TikTok going. Y'all, I'm bootleg. I'm, I'm bootleg. <laughs> Please well, you know what? On the TikTok, it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna be talking on it anyway. So we gonna start over, y'all. We gonna try to start over. Look, push that back down, like <laughs> yo. The tips and tricks. The tips and tricks. Yes. Okay. Okay. Y'all gonna see me like, cause I'm like kind of starting over with the damn phone. <laughs> It's going to be choppy anyway, because you know how TikTok is. Okay. Y'all know how TikTok is. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let me turn the damn TV down, because y'all on the roll. Let's hit it. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we're going to open it up. forget that I'm not I ain't got time to do this I'm on <laughs> it's too much because on the vlog I need to talk I need to talk I will just let it record and then I'll take snippets out okay how about that <laughs> it's too much I gotta talk about it I A lot of them be editing out, y'all. <laughs> uh
further ado, here is the new cabinet for the coffee. Navy blue, as you see, I put the margarita stuff over there. Sorry, I apologize for the noise outside. There's the new Keurig. There is also the new frother in my coffee cup right next to it. They're gonna put two cups up there. That board is a cutting board that I had under the old Keurig. So, I may turn it around a different way so the, the board comes in the front where the coffee cup part will go under under there I may turn it around um, but I want something on there and I'm gonna put something under that Keurig tray I don't want it just up there because it'll scratch it up I want to take care of my stuff so the vase is still there and I was even prepared to buy a table for the vase and put something on move the vase from off of there um, I could also put the coffee maker on top of the Keurig tray and put over there but I still want something under it I don't want anything sitting directly on it you know what I'm saying so let's get a little close up okay so now we're close <laughs> so now you can see the blue see the blue over there it's very nice cabinet very nice I love it here's your Keurig right here like I said, this is the K-Slim version. It has the water uh, dispenser in the back. Okay. And then you have here the frother. I got that from Amazon as well. It's on one of my unboxing for Amazon. It's just a regular frother. It does hot and cold cappuccino and latte. There's my K, the letter K cup. And so this is what I was talking about again. I may turn this around so the front of it covers this. And also I may set this whole unit on top of here and move it over and get something else to raise the vase with. And that's the little tray that all the K cups sit in. I have mine in here. I mean, some people put them in a little basket. Some people put them in the thing you turn around. I've had that before. I didn't like it. I didn't like them being displayed. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It's just like the liquor. And you see, I'm a Green Mountain girl all the way through. And I have some of the little, some little ones that I sometimes mess around with, like Dunkin' Donuts and some of the other ones, the no-name ones. Target has good uh, K-Cups. They have a good salted caramel. I think I told you all that. And this is the same vase that was over here before. Um, right now it has the pompous in it from... Where did I get this pompous from? Michael's. But um, I'm, I'm going to probably put that orange pompous back in here. This is another vase because remember it was an orangey type vase. This was just new from at home. And that's about it. So there's the girls up there. Looking lovely. <laughs> Let me move the. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're looking lovely, y'all. Looking lovely. Well, y'all, that is the end of my gifts. Um, I had the pot set. I, I bought this cabinet. I also um, got the Keurig. And that came, that was already here. My cup was here. But like I said, I'm going to play around with it. And like I told you all before, I'm going to play around with what's in here. I may move stuff around. I really prefer to put like both of these up here on the top. I told you those may go. Um, all the liquor is down here now, except the real big giant bottles. Um, there's the wine glasses in the corner. And I may play around with it. Like I told you, I may play around with it. So, you know how you set something up and then you go back and you think about it, you look at it, and the next day you change it. Um, I'm more of a silver thing. Sil I wish these were silver. I know I can spray paint them or whatever, paint them, and do the silver. Because you see everything is kind of connected to black and silver. But I'm satisfied. I'm really satisfied with it. I really, um, <laughs> I really appreciate uh, how I put everything together and how I came out. I think it looks nice. It's a little bit more... Cons it's a little bit more... It's in smaller proximity and size than the other one. The other one was up a little bit higher, but I like it. I like how it turned out, and I may play around and change some stuff around with it, but I like it. I like my gifts that I got for Christmas, uh, the pots, the cabinet, and the Keurig, and the frother. Thank you, Santa Claus. <laughs> and thank you, my company, because remember, I got the cabinet from my company. But anyway, yeah, and I appreciate Nate for uh, putting this together, for, uh, putting it together for me. I also helped. He makes you help. So I helped. But anyway, yeah, I like it. 
I like it. It may not be as tall because I got to get used to it not being as tall as the other one. But it's all right for me. All right. So I am K, and you're watching It's Just K1. If you have any thoughts, any ideas, whatever, whatever, we're going to change this out. Put the orange back in. It's okay. This was for the winter time. I'm not feeling it right now. I'm put that orange back in. That orange is like pow. <laughs> and it looks good against this cream. Um, this falls off a lot. Uh, so, y'all know how pompous is. But anyway, y'all, um, I appreciate you for hanging out with me. And thank you for sharing your time with me also. I am K. I am I am K, and you are watching It's Just K1. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any ideas on things I can add, what else I can do, because I still may get the little table that I want to sit on this side and put the vase over here in the corner, even though I have this liquor sitting over here and the, the, <laughs> the club soda and the coconut water. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think my stuff turned out very good, and I think it's nice, and I appreciate me. Appreciate yourself, girl. So, anyway, thank you. And have a great weekend, the rest of your weekend. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Be careful with this bad weather, y'all. Do not be out there trying to shovel snow and do all this other kind of crazy stuff, especially people over a particular age. I had to tell my brothers and my family that and some of my friends. If you get out there and shovel and you start hurting or aching or shortness of breath, stop. It's not that serious. Don't. Do not. Your health is better. Your health is worth more than snow and all this other stuff. Get help reach out but anyway i'm gonna get out of here clean up the rest of this mess because i have a lot of things to donate the keurig is getting donated a lot of other stuff that i had left over some old pots because i got the new pot set in and um i have to box it up and take it up there probably tomorrow so that's what i'm doing cleaning up for the rest of the day enjoy your weekend and have a great saturday it's just k1 y'all i will wrap a taste with you later oh and happy martin luther king weekend MLK day y'all. Are you doing it a day of service? Are you just chilling? Are you doing work? What are you doing? MLK. Remember what it's about and what it represent? Because you know we're still trying to get there. Unfortunately and sad. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Those that know know. Just K1 y'all. Be safe. Be careful.